Greetings, I'm Chief Alvarado from the 316th ESC SPO Log Automation Section. I'll be bringing to you the movement tracking system. Um, it consists of the, uh, the tablet stand, the MTS tablet, the 70-foot cable reel, the power cable to the tablet, the power cable to the printer, a color printer, the keyboard, and a transceiver. And the transceiver also comes with a camouflage cover if, if you need it. If you're not aware of what the system is, it comes in a container. De depending on the variant, it could be green or it could be tan. And along here, you have the, uh, the list of the components by serial number. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set it up step by step. So first, you want to assemble the TV stand. Right, right now, if you try to set it up, it can fall apart. You need to engage the locking mechanism. Once you do that, we'll put the tablet in the tablet stand. And if we look here on the side, this is the port we need to, to connect the power supply to. This big port here is the connector we need. As you can see here, it's, it's got pegs that only allows you to make the connection one way. And once it goes in, only, only the cover will seal in. And it'll pull it in tight to make it a watertight seal. Okay, now we're gonna connect the keyboard. On the left hand side is the keyboard port. Next is the, uh, making the connection to the 70 foot uh, cable reel to two of the three connectors on the power supply. The third connector, it's the J4 dagger. It's not used for the MTS 2012, which I am showing you. This is used for the MTS 2011, which did not have a built in GPS. The connectors here, we just have to align the pegs to the grooves. Once you do that, you just twist it tight. This connector here is just like the VGA uh, for a computer monitor. You just align it. And because I do not have a flathead screwdriver, I'm not gonna actually screw it in and make a secure fit, but uh, it'll, it'll still function. Next is the printer. And the printer power supply and the USB cable. To make the USB connection, you're gonna look on the left hand side and you'll see LAN USB and then you just twist to expose the USB cable. and make the connection on the back of the printer. Next is the power supply. and we will not apply power until we're ready to apply power to the transceiver also. Next is the transceiver. The transceiver needs to be placed outside and it has to have a clear view of the sky to the southern hemisphere in order to have uh, uh, direct connection to the satellite ITV network, which is the in-transit visibility network. This connector here will be uh, 90 degrees facing south of the transceiver itself. So you have to make sure that it's propped up when, when you place it outside, because if you put it directly on the ground, you will not have the clearance to make the connection. Next is attaching the AC cable to the MTS power supply. 
Now we're ready to connect it to an AC outlet for both the MTS power supply and the printer. Now, if you made all the proper connections, uh, we should be able to power on the MTS tablet. What you wanna do is you wanna hit, hold the power button until you see all the lights flash and then let go. And the power button should be flashing here. So it's telling you it's booting up. And just be patient because it's a slow load up. The username will be M T S. The password is going to be the MTS tablet. Uh, you have uh, two methods of input. You can use the keyboard or you can actually use the stylus because it's a touch screen. Um, and what I'll demonstrate here. And uh, it's not as precise as our smartphones because uh, the touchscreen uh, was first implemented when it wasn't perfected into these tablets. So um, after the boot up, the system will automatically come in and try to si sign you in to the MTS Messenger software. Uh, a, a good naming convention that I use and I recommend other units use is a uh, unit name, the section that the is utilizing the MTS and then its purpose. If you see here, I have 316ESC-CMD for command dash talk for, because it was used for the talk. And then below is the class because we're looking at a control station. Uh, the option is a Brigade Tactical Operations Center. But um, if we pull out the stylus here, we're given a more options. Um, for the MTS mobile kits, you're going to have the option to uh, classify what vehicle, whether the vehicle is touring a trailer, um, based on uh, what mission it's being used for. And then after you're done, you just hit on sign on. And it'll log you into the, it'll start logging you into the ITV network. Here, um, if, we, if the transceiver was set up outside, I'd have a transceiver uh, connecting would stay green and then transceiver lock would turn green once it made communications with the satellite. So uh, for the, uh, this instructional video you will not see it get a transceiver lock because we're conducting this video indoors. And to the right is where you'll have your track units where you'll see all vehicles and all the different talks uh, showing they would populate here on the right hand side. Okay, when you're ready to power this, uh, shut this all down, make sure you do it like you do your computer. You go to the start menu and uh, you select shut down. Because uh, you don't want to ruin the operating system to this tablet. And then And then uh, the, just tear down uh, in reverse order as, as you went ahead and set it up. Just make sure not to lose any of your components. Uh, it's very hard to get these replaced and uh, your unit will pay out a hide in order to get them replaced. And the, the cable itself, take, take really good care because this was uh, uh, customized specifically for this actual this component and you can't just order this part, it has to be remade. If you have any questions, concerns, feel free to contact me, CW2 Jose H. Alvarado. You can look me up on Global. My office number is 412-604-8132.